Hello everybody, this is Cyan Link coming to you from Afghanistan. Uh, I promised Calvin Nation I would do a quick review of this knife. I promised a while ago, but I've been kind of busy. I figured I'd do it real quick because as this is a butterfly knife, we can't take it back home to the States with us. So let's go ahead and do this. This is a Afghanistan knockoff Benchmade. If you look closely, you can see the Benchmade logo on the blade. In fact, when I told Calvination about it, he said it might be like an older Benchmade. I kind of wanted to make this video to show him that it's definitely not. I highly doubt Benchmade would make something this crappy even if someone held a gun to their head. The blade is at best 440, probably 420. Of course, I can't, don't have any way to get it officially tested. It's not very sharp, but that's a good thing because this is a practice knife and I don't want to slice myself too bad. I've got these cuts slamming my hand in the door. Not from the knife. The shape, I mean, nothing special about it. It doesn't help or hurt flipping in any way, except for these uh, stop wings on the side. They do sometimes pinch you, especially when you're trying to do index rollovers or thumb rollovers or things like that. But, um, like, the biggest problem is that it can't stay together. Unfortunately, I don't have any Loctite handy. These screws are holding this thing together are maybe at most an eighth of an inch long just barely enough to go through halfway through the blade and they meet on either side right in the middle now uh, the Gerber we get issued comes with a little hex wrench that fits into these perfectly so you can tighten them but I had one of these before and I forgot to tighten it for a couple days and sure enough one of these came flying out and the whole thing fell to pieces uh, the handles are some kind of really really crappy steel they bend pretty easy I can squeeze them together without much of a problem um, got a pot little pocket clip which is a decent idea it also helps when you're doing uh, aerials when you grab it you can feel that pocket clip and know you've got the safe handle in your hand so that's kind of useful the latch probably the worst part held on by a little thing but I'm um, pretty sure if I tug, give it a little tug it would break off which is kind of worrisome and it does get in the way when you're flipping because it just you know flops loose back and forth all in all like nothing special to say except that it is definitely not a real bench made it is just an Afghanistan bench made knockoff because they don't have copyright laws over here so no one cares they just put whatever they want on it this isn't the only company I've seen I've seen imitation saw knives, I've seen imitation cold steel, I've seen quite a bit of stuff over here. And that's really about it. Try to make more videos soon. Peace out.